हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी हैव डॉक्टर तरुण शर्मा ही इज एन एच ओ डी ऑफ मेडिकल बायोटेक्नोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट ही हैविंग टोटल फिफ्टीन ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस सो टूडेज एजेंडा इज अबाउट द थॉट्स ऑफ एजुकेशन सो लेट्स बिगनिंग विद द इंटरव्यू माई फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टू यू सर वेन यू फर्स्ट केम टू द गुजरात बायोटेक्नोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी वॉट वॉज यूर विजन एंड हाउ यू आर ट्राइंग टू अचीव द सेम सो द रीजन फॉर ज्वाइनिंग गुजरात बायोटेक्नोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी इज दैट इट इज अ फर्स्ट बायोटेक्नोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी इन द कंट्री and i came with a vision to create a center of excellence in medical diagnostic at this place because gujarat is having very vibrant ecosystem in terms of startups in terms of industries so we can promote the industry academy of collaboration and we can nurture the young generation because the currently if you see the most of the student look for job right so they are the job seeker we can create a pool of innovator instead of being the job seeker they can be job provider so we our vision is to nurture them and we want to be the leading institution in the country in the next 10 year that is my vision is about this institution okay great sir so my next question is to you being the faculty of medical biotechnology department what are your roles and responsibility toward the students so basically i mean see being the faculty in the medical biotechnology department the first and foremost responsibility to keep the student engaged and motivated leaving them enthused so that they can learn their own like unlike the traditional um, teaching system where we promote the spoon feeding here we want them to be an independent thinker and our main focus is on hands on training so that we can make them industry ready once they are close to finishing their masters program once we believe that they will be industry ready so that any industry can get them can hire them with a decent salary right so we want to infuse them with a training the practical aspect hands on training soft skill as well as well as the good written skill so that these student can not only serve in industry they can serve or excel in the academy as well okay great sir great thoughts you have so my next question is to you how do you try to bring the practical approach toward the subject and make it industry oriented so see first thing is that we are promoting a constant industry academy engagement we are we are in contact with many industries so we will once a student will be here we will take them to the industry we will take them to the hospital to understand their need accordingly we will pick the most relevant need and a student will work on it we will not only teach them the theory we will have a hands on training session also each day in the second half right so they will do experiment their own they will be the independent sort of independent thinker independent doer and that is one aspect other aspect is we will also inculcate the team work the spirit of team work in these student so we will be having various team activities in each team we will be placing four to five students and there will be many group activity many experiments where each student will contribute and then we are also you know uh, this is just one aspect other is we are also promoting the startup culture in the university so we are going to create a incubator and we have a very good faculties that can help them achieving their goal or dream or aspirations as an innovator as a as a startup person and in addition to this we are also having a very interesting course which you will not find in any university and that course is innovation and entrepreneurship so we are basically innovation driven and translation focused university we will not only talk about the idea we will talk about the translation of idea into the product so our long term vision is to create a setup for end to end product translation or end to end product development so that thing will make the student skillful industry ready and even those who are really bright 
can venture into their own start okay great sir so my next question is to how do you help your students to cope up with the competing being so high in the outside of world yes that's really a great question like competition is very intense these days so the only thing that can you know make them or having them an edge over their competitor is some extra knowledge extra skills so that's how our focus is on the those extra skills we are not only giving them the theory we the, the, the theoretical aspect we are giving them practical training hands on training we are also trying to inculcate soft skills hard skill and other industry oriented skills so we have we are basically providing them an entire package where we are having the, the training as an academicians and their visit to the industry their visit to the hospitals and their constant engagement with the different stakeholder right will give them an competitive edge so that they can excel in their career Okay, great, sir. So my next question is to you. What do you see the Gujarat Biotechnology University's greatest strength, and how it can be enhanced? So, first thing is that we are unique university in the sense that we have entire spectrum of various biotechnological discipline under one roof. We have medical biotechnology, we have animal biotechnology, plant biotechnology, environmental, and industrial also. In addition to this, we have two supporting arm one is marine biotechnology other is the bioinformatic so we have a huge complementary expertise if we want to really tackle a big problem or national emergency we have that strength we have that bandwidth that through our complementary expertise we can address such challenges so that is our bigger strength i would say Okay great sir so my last question is to you what valuable advice would you like to to the students for them to have a prospect career ahead so the best advice i could offer is that see nowadays as you just mentioned that we have very intense competition right so they have to work hard they have to prepare well and uh, there is no substitute to the hard work and they have to be a good team player so there is a saying in the army that more you sweat during peace time less you bleed during the war so more time you will devote during the study less time you will get in you will take to get a good job so that will be your i mean that will be my message to the student thank you great valuable advice sir so now i would like to conclude the interview thank you for such all information it is very helpful for the all student and the parents thank you so much sir